What's going on guys? T-Mart here and stand for you guys episode of Call of Duty Ghost Killer Class Setups. The idea behind this is to provide you guys some new class setups you can try out that are very unique. You know, they're not the typical AK-12 Remington R5 gun that you see every single time you play the game. But yeah, they're unique, they're fun to use, and they're actually pretty effective. So anyway, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a class setup that's very good on the Vector CRB. So, uh, lately I've been messing around with Rapid Fire. You know, it's not really an attachment that I use very often, and I don't really see it that often online either. You know, what it does in Ghost, it increases your rate of fire by 17%, which allows you to potentially kill faster. But along with that, it increases your gun kick because there's less time for your gun to recenter in between shots since it shoots faster. And obviously that results in you getting more off target. And then also, because you're more off target, you waste more bullets, so you burn through ammo very quickly. And you'll have to reload more often, which obviously puts you at a big disadvantage if you can't shoot back at people who are shooting you. So, uh, overall, you know, typically rapid fire is not the best attachment in the world. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. But there is one weapon that I've been using recently that I really like it on, and that's the Vector CRB. So, uh, the deal with the Vector is... Is first of all, its recoil is very, very good. It's probably the most well-mannered recoil for SMGs. It still has some, don't get me wrong, but it probably has one of the top two least out of all the SMGs. So that's a good thing it's got going in its favor, which, uh, which rapid fire can't really affect all that much. And then also, the Vector is one of the strongest SMGs in the game in terms of damage. It does 45 up close and 20 to distance. I think there's only one other SMG that does that. Yet it has the slowest rate of fire at 759 RPM, which is super slow. You know, things like the CBJMS do a thousand, which is uh, which is 25% more. So that's a pretty big deal. But um, yeah, so it's really high damage, but low rate of fire. So rapid fire is kind of like the perfect companion to it. You know, rapid fire raises its rate of fire up to 888 RPM. And, you know, because it's shooting faster, it's going to put more of those super high damage bullets down range. And, you know, again, because the recoil is not all that great, it is going to increase a little bit, but it's not going to be, you know, unmanageable at that point. So, uh, yeah, rapid fire is very, very good on this weapon. Like, even, you know, up to, you know, medium-ish to long kind of ranges, it's pretty good. Medium-ish to long kind of. That's a good one, Trev. But, uh, yeah, when you're in that medium range distance... I still find it pretty easy to control, you know, now once you get to the really long ranges and, you know, on some of the bigger maps, it's a little bit more difficult there. You want to start burst firing and it doesn't really uh, get that effective since it's a five shot kill at that distance anyway. But uh, yeah, those short to medium ranges, it's actually a pretty good weapon. You're going to see a lot in this gameplay. Sometimes I don't even have the first shot because I'm shooting so fast. I'm shooting such powerful bullets. I'm going to take people down anyway. So it's uh, it's very, very good. Now, uh, what do I recommend for this class setup? Well, I really like an optic on this weapon. There aren't many weapons in the game that I like to put a red dot sight on, but uh, but this one is one of them. So I typically run three different attachments on this weapon. So uh, there's red dot sight, foregrip, and then rapid fire. Obviously, you want foregrip to help control the recoil for rapid fire. That's a very, very big deal. If you don't mind the iron sights on the vector, you could just run foregrip and rapid fire. But like I said, I really like the red dot sight. It helps me out a bunch. I don't like to run any secondary lethal or tactical. That's, you know, pretty much typical for all my classes. And then finally for our perks, of course you have to have the extra attachment perk if you're running that, uh, that red dot site. And, and then also, I like to run ready up, sleight of hand, quick draw, and focus. Those are the ones that I think are the most important. Focus is really good on this weapon because, again, since it's rapid fire, you want to stay on target. That thing already has a good amount of recoil. So if you get off target because somebody's shooting at you, there's no way you're going to win that gunfight because your gun's are already going crazy. So focus is pretty important, but sometimes I will sub it out for marathon if we're on, on some really big maps like Whiteout or Stonehaven or something like that where I'm going to try to flank around the enemies. And yeah, so that's, that's typically the class setup that I've been using uh, over the past couple of days with this weapon. I'm really, really enjoying it. I highly recommend you guys check it out because I've had a lot of success with it and I think you guys will too. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. The Vector CRB with Rapid Fire. Make sure you guys check this bad boy out. I've had a lot of success with it. I think you guys will too. Uh, go try it out. Come back here. Let me know how you did in the comment. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So got a bunch of great videos coming soon. Check out my other two videos on the screen if you haven't seen yet. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's very much appreciated. Likes, favorites, comments, all that is greatly appreciated as well. Catch you all later. Peace out.